This is a really interesting <laughs> new this morning uh, story. On average, children go through about 7,000 diapers by the time they are trained. Don't we know? Yes, we do. <laughs> the EPA says diapers are the third largest source of waste in U.S. households. Yeah. They can sit in landfills for hundreds of years. Well, Brianna checked out a facility. This is fascinating, turning those big messes into megawatts. Are you ready for change? Bright Horizons Child Care in Norwell is doing something different with their dirty diapers. So at the end of the day, our cleaning crews and our teachers will put them in the bins outside that Huggies provided. And then we have a crew that comes and takes them off and turns them into Oh yes, they are used. They are fully used, number one and number two, and uh, that material all gets converted to uh, electricity for the New England power grid. The stinky magic is happening here at ReWorld, a sustainable waste facility in Haverhill. Wow. Oh so this, my goodness. So this is uh, all the trash from the local municipalities. That's Brett Stevens, a senior director at ReWorld. Brett says after dirty diapers are steam sterilized to kill bacteria, they come here where a giant claw mixes them up with other waste. It's the beginning of a process known as waste to energy. We're moving trash into a boiler. That boiler is uh, thermally destroying or heating up the material. That's creating steam energy. Steam energy goes through the turbine into the local power grid. And that water that was in those tanks goes through a closed loop process to come right back into our boilers. It's all part of a pilot program powered by Huggies and six Bright Horizon centers. Since January, it's kept more than 33,000 pounds of diapers out of landfills and generated three megawatt hours. That's enough to power five local homes for a month. But thermally destroying waste comes at a premium, costing more per pound to process over landfill disposal. They're going to recover energy from it, which is better than not recovering any, any energy from the carbon in the diaper. That said, like incineration for waste to energy is carbon producing, CO2 producing technology. So if the whole um, mess, so to speak, could be compostable, could be biodegradable, um, and we had facilities to, uh, you know, where we could carry that out, that would be an excellent solution as well. I can tell you that there is no such thing as a 100% biodegradable, disposable diaper on the market right now. That's because diapers are made up of materials like plastic. You see the little stretchy tabs here and this inner core, which is what keeps your baby dry, is made of absorbent polymers and it can take up to 500 years for these kinds of materials to break down. There's only a limited number of landfills that remain open and even those have very capacity left, especially in New England where, you know, the, the population is very dense and the, the, the waste problem is very great. I think it's a mindless thing. You throw something in the trash and it goes into a waste bin and it gets taken away. Row, row. Michelle Baker is a mom of twins and has it's been working in Bright Horizons yeah. classrooms for 23 years. And while she wouldn't think twice about throwing away a diaper in the past, she's excited about the new possibilities of big messes making a big impact. It is a lot of waste. And if we can keep that out of the landfill, we want to be part of that. So there is one other solution, of course, to this problem, if you're up for it, which is the reusable cloth diaper, right? Going back to basics and what we first used, that would really be the ideal option here. But let's be really necessary for a lot of families. Let me tell you, somebody gave me a year cloth diaper service as a gift when my first baby was born. Wow. That lasted about, I don't know, a couple of days. Yeah. Uh, so our diapers yeah. are fantastic. Yeah. We've all gone through thousands of them. So oh, if there's right. any way, it is so wasteful. They're so expensive. So if there's any way to turn it into energy, what a great idea. Yeah. It is a wonderful idea. Yeah. And, and it's a huge problem. I mean, yes. I didn't even know before becoming a parent 500 years oh, that it yeah. can sit in a landfill. I mean, we we got to figure something out, and I think this is uh, a really great are testing out. And so many parents have that idealism about the diapers <laughs> and the reusable cloth. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Like, we're going to do it. And then you're bleary-eyed and frazzled <laughs> and your hair is going everywhere yeah. and you can barely see straight. Yeah. It's good to know there's something on the back end, at least to clear our consciences yep. a little bit that says, hey, okay, we're doing our part well, it's productive. while dealing with baby. Yeah, yeah. very yeah. cool pilot program. Awesome yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Stuff.